Mali is observing three days of mourning after militants launched a dual attack in the country's northeast. A group affiliated to al-Qaeda has claimed both attacks that occurred on Thursday in the Gao region. The Malian government had given a provisional death toll of 49 civilians and 15 soldiers. The militants targeted a boat carrying civilians on the Niger River. The second attack was on a military base located in the Buram Circle. The Malian armed forces said they neutralized around 50 50 assailants in a combined air and land response to the two attacks. Mali, which forms part of the Sahel region, has been affected by violence over the last decade. This includes insurgent attacks and intercommunal violence. Earlier, we spoke to Fahiraman Rodrigue Kone, a senior researcher with the Sahel team at the Institute for Security Studies based in Bamako. He started by telling us why the security situation in the Sahel region was deteriorating. Let's listen in. But really, uh, yes, we are witnessing that uh, the security situation is getting uh, bad and bad. Recently, we have uh, witnessed, I think yesterday and this morning too, there was uh, uh, attacks uh, uh, in Mali. Uh, also in Burkina Faso, there were 50, uh, 54 persons that were dead yesterday too. Uh, yes, the situation is deteriorating, uh, despite that. Uh, uh, the different military authorities in those countries are taking action to fight against those terrorist groups. Um, the reason of uh, of that, there are many reasons. For the first time, uh, you know, there were this minimum withdrawal in uh, Mali, which create a kind of void. And uh, I think the jihadist groups are taking advantages of this void to, uh, uh, to, to, to lead some uh, uh, attacks. I think the focus will, uh, must not be put on, the, on of an actor, but on the strategy itself. Uh, if you replace French troops with Russia, uh, it's still the military action that you are focusing on. Uh, the military, as I said, the, the, the jihadist uh, threat has been uh, fed by local grievances, by, uh, uh, by the uh, poor states in terms of governance, by uh, justice. And all those issues are very important in a broad strategy. Military pressure, yes, because those groups have arms, they are attacking. But at the same time, you have to tackle or to, to, end, to end all the root causes of this insidious. So. The military action is important, but it's not sufficient. You have to add other strategy in terms of, you know, policy of, uh, of disengagement by through dialogues inside community, development action, and a broad strategy, a holistic strategy, which uh, include military action, development action, that a better state in terms of government.